Well, it's back to school time, you guys, and today I'm gonna to bring you a few things that you're gonna need this semester. Let's go ahead and open up the first package here. I think this item in particular, you don't have to be a student. It's just something I feel that's very important for anyone that does a lot of work on the computer. So, an item that I think is very important and sometimes overlooked is an external hard drive. So I went ahead and bought the My Passport Ultra external hard drive. This is in capacity of four terabytes. And what I love about this is the color scheme. I absolutely love the black and the gray silver. Next up, one of my favorite things in the world, backpacks. Mm -hmm. I got another one. I've still been kind of on the search on what backpack to be able to use as my school backpack, but also as my camera equipment. So. Go ahead and open this baby up. Once again, thanks for choosing air. You're very welcome. I'm excited. Oh my gosh. All right. I don't know if you guys can tell what this is just by looking at it, but this is the air tech pack. So here you have, the thing that attracted me the most is just the style and the look of it. It does have this amazing ballistic nylon. So this is made to be durable, made for every day. So that's really amazing. Here you have several organization pockets. I love the YKK zippers. It makes it very well in case I have to walk from the parking lot to inside of the building and it's raining. I won't have to worry about my stuff getting wet. A quick access pocket here. Then you have the middle pocket which this area, keep in mind, does share space with the quick access pocket. So if you do add too much bulk, it will also affect kind of how much you can put in the middle bag. So just keep that in mind. You can fit up to a 15 inch laptop. What I do like about this inner sleeve here is that it is elevated. So if you do drop a laptop that doesn't have a case or cover on it, you won't have to worry about hitting it at the bottom, especially if you place or plop your backpack down, it should be protected. Then you also have a middle sleeve insert thing good for probably a notebook a folder or even an ipad and then you have even two smaller pockets all the way at the bottom not sure if you can really see that down there plus you have space to put stuff in just the regular backpack here all right then your last bag or compartment is back here once again uh the zippers this one doesn't go all the way back or equal to this side because you do also have a side handle However, I will forgive it because this is just, it's just one big pocket. The things that I've uh, heard, seen, or read about this specific pocket that you can put your laptop in. A lot of people have complained or said that it's not good for a laptop just because it falls all the way down. However, I feel that they're at the very bottom, there's like a thick lining. So I think it should protect if you do put, if you do decide to put your laptop on here, there's like a thicker, um, it's like a little strip that's a cushiony. So I think you should be good putting your laptop in really in any pocket that you desire, whatever works best for you. And then you have a expandable um, water bottle pocket here. So that's always good because uh, water's like supposed to be healthy or something. Uh. Then on this other side, you do have a smaller pocket. A lot of people have used this for smaller items, maybe, um, some gum or I don't know breath mints hand sanitizer maybe even airpods or small headphones could fit in here so it's just you know an extra pocket just in case for you to use the back here you have uh, very well padded you also have a uh, chest strap here to kind of help with the weight in case you do load this up to its full capacity and then you also have what's really nice you know if you wanted to take this to travel you have this uh, simple just like slide strap you can slip onto this luggage handle and then just place this on top of your bag all right so now we're gonna go into the segment of what's in my backpack So I've packed up my bag to what I would use on a day-to-day -day basis when I go back to school. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at what's inside. All right, so starting from the top to bottom in this zipper pouch, I actually really didn't put too much in there, but I do have my chapstick, lotion because I hate dry hands, 
and attached to this which is actually meant to be for your keys except i don't i don't know why but for me since all it's a keyless thingy that i need for my car I don't really like putting it in here. So attached to it is my 128 USB 3.0 drive. So I have this attached because it is so small. I don't want to lose it. Then from here, this is where I have my hard external hard drive that I use. Also WD Passport Ultra compared to the one that I just got today. This is the four terabyte. So here's the difference. One terabyte, four terabyte. So here you can see that there's a size difference. So this is gonna be at more my at home. It's gonna stay connected to my iMac. I wanna get into kind of a like good habit into backing this one up to here. That way I know I always have backup files just in case at home. So we have that there. And here all I have is the cable to my hard drive. Then here I have my, probably one of my favorite pens. I then have my pencil here, highlighters. So I have these on display and then I also have lead refills for my pencil here you can see right away that i have my switch i have it here with the joy con grips because they're easier and more comfortable to play with i also have a power brick to charge up any device in here i also have a stand for my nintendo switch in case again if i want to more comfortably play or maybe even do a multiplayer game with, with some friends and then of course you always need to charge and that's it for this like pouch thing. I, then in this pouch, I have just kind of my basic makeup stuff, really boring. I hardly use it, but when I wanna look more alive during class, I'll go ahead and put a dash of mascara and like look alive. And then of course you need the Nintendo Switch games. So I have it in this, uh, in this case here, which also doubles as a micro SD case as well if you need that multi-use. All right, and that is it for this pack. <laughs> Now moving on to the top quick access pocket here is of course my cell phone, which I'm rocking the iPhone 8 Plus in the gold or rose gold or something with peel case and the peel edge to edge screen protector. However, I don't like it. I haven't dropped it this like this time. This is my second edge to edge screen protector. I haven't dropped it and I've noticed a crack here a fine line crack here, and then this one's the most newest one, this right here. And I promise you, I haven't dropped this phone. So I'm really disappointed. So any suggestions for edge screen protectors, please comment down below. That would be awesome. All right, so back to this. I usually rock my paper Simpsons wallet here because it's thin uh, and I don't have a lot of money, so it's not like anything's in here. Then we got this pouch for headphones. I'm actually using the Smart Omi's pouch, but I don't use their headphones because they're not, they're not that great. My main ones that I use for my Nintendo Switch and for sometimes even my phone and computer have been these Sony headphones actually that I got at the airport on my way to Ireland. These have just been amazing. I absolutely love it. Of course, you got the dongle adapter for the iPhone. I do use the Jaybird Freedoms. I believe these are the three version. But the, these Jaybirds have been great. They sound great. They have an app that goes along with these headphones so you can adjust to your listening preferences. Then because those are Bluetooth, I do need to carry around the charger. Now onto the middle one, which is kind of like the main storage, I guess, after the organizational one. So this one opens up the widest. This is where I will put my notebooks, um, depending on what classes I have. I am still rocking the 2009 MacBook Pro. This thing is heavy. This I've decided to put in this pocket because it is a little bit more cushioned and it feels like it'll be more protective. I am very blind, so I also carry my glasses. In case my contacts are bothering me, I need to be able to switch on the fly to my glasses so I can see, otherwise I'm completely screwed. I also have a planner that I just picked up from, I think it's actually uh, Home Goods. I love that place. Picked this up for like $3. Uh, you can see here, I color code my classes such as this. So that way on the fly, when I'm looking through the week, I know exactly, oh, that's this class, that's the other one. And then also in the two pockets down below is where I carry my charger. And for this last one, this pocket was just better served for me personally, for just folders or papers, or even maybe even a notebook I can put in here. 
So this is what I'm gonna be using every day for school starting the 27th. So I know in the, in the beginning of this video, I said that I wanted a backpack that was good for my school supplies and stuff like that, as well as for my camera gear. And so as I was trying to coordinate and fit my camera stuff as well, I did, I was able to fit like the smaller lens of this Canon EOS M5. I could fit the charger and my camera with the uh, 10 to 18 millimeter lens. It does fit here. However, it's, it was merely just like placed and it wasn't protective. So a light bulb came on. And I'm like, Michelle, duh, you have something that could totally fit all your camera stuff and it would be easy to carry. This is from Vinta. Now, I do have their version one camera backpack. It's not expandable, so it, it's really limited to what you can put in it. I'm an assistant photographer for weddings, and I do use my Vinta backpack, and it works perfectly. I absolutely love it. But that's the thing, it's limited to just my camera equipment. But again, it doesn't fit all of this little stuff. And, and I wouldn't be able to take anything school related. I wouldn't be able to take my Switch. A little while ago, they released the version two, which does add a little bit more ex uh, expandable side pockets. But they also added like uh, packs that go inside of the backpack itself for more organizational purposes. So they do have a camera version uh, pack where there's a uh, removable like, um, one of those dividers kind of thing with like velcro so you can you know organize your stuff however the one that i backed it was kind of a mistake i meant to get the camera one however i couldn't change what i backed up so um i ended up getting the travel field pack so it's this it's waterproof i love the material you even have two little um here it is two side uh, thingies if you wanted a bigger strap. I mean, theoretically, you could attach a strap here, but you have this amazing handle. And this, when I know that in class we're gonna have an activity or I need to go and shoot on campus, I can just carry this. And it's not a hassle to have my backpack and be like, all right, got my camera stuff. Doo -doo -doo -doo. So in here, again, I don't have to worry about either of these getting wet if in case the weather goes bad, everything is gonna be protected. It, everything stays in place when you have it fully packed. So in this first pouch, I do have my SD cards. So I have all of these here. Again, also doubles for micro SD cards. I have my ND filter for my 10 to 18 millimeter lens. Then here I have the charging cables for DJI Mavic, um, what do I have? DJI Mavic Air. Uh. So these are the charging cables for both the controller and the actual uh, drone itself. Here I am obsessed with Velcro ties because it just makes cables so much cleaner. Then I have my extra battery for my Canon EOS M5. Then here I have, uh, this is actually from Belkin. It came with a backpack of mine, it was years ago, but I love using this for my cables and odds and ends things for camera equipment. In here, I have a lot of cleaning utensils for my camera, so that I have yet to open up. Microfiber cloths. I do also carry the, um, the spare bl uh, propellers. And mainly it's just a lot of cleaning utensils. It's a lot of cleaning tools for my camera. Just again, if it's, a project for school. I want to be. I want to be sure that my shots are as crisp as I possibly can. So if I need to clean my lens or camera, I can. Then here I have the actual DJI Mavic Air itself. So this stays in its pouch. I have the controller. Got the DJI actual brick here. Then I have my Canon M5 charger, as well as the other lens that I have for it, the 15 to 45 lens. And I could also add the 50 lenses, 50 millimeter lens as well to this pack. So here my camera come, fits in perfectly. I can just take this, everything's protected, and it doesn't have to affect any of this stuff. And I can bring this stuff and I can have everything with me together. Well, whether we like it or not, school is around the corner. So if you have any questions about these products whatsoever, please comment down below. I will go ahead and try to leave links to what I can. So please comment, like, and subscribe to the channel if you're not already, and I will see you guys soon.